What is up guys, welcome back to another video featuring Kramos Nathan here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clean 06 Fluval filters and the first step is going to be to unplug it. As you can see that's what I'm doing, very important step. Then you want to close the valve. So after unplugging it, to close the valve it's really simple. All you got to do is pull up the white and it might be a bit tough to do. As you can see I'm struggling a bit here but it is doable. You just gotta be patient with it, don't worry about breaking it. Everything on this filter has a purpose. So this is what you gotta do, you just gotta push it all the way up. Once doing that, you pull up the red, and that completely closes the valve and pops it up. Now a little water may squirt, but it's okay. Now all you gotta do is pull it out from there, and then you have to empty the water. So what I'm doing here is just emptying the water into a bucket. I'm just emptying it part way, and then I'm going to open it. And to do this, it's fairly simple. Um, you just gotta, as you can see, I'm doing the white, pop it open, and push, and take off the lid. So that's fairly simple. I found a snail, just letting you guys see, in my filter, doing fine. I put it back into my tank. Uh, things around for a snail or something like that. Then I empty the rest of the water. Be careful of the media. It might fall out. And I had like had it all fall out before. So as you can see, I'm pushing it and making and then draining the water. So this method should be fine. So once upon uh, draining all the water, you gotta take all the media out. And the media is fairly simple to take out. So you just take the first part out. Uh, and then you take all the media out, the uh, biological filtration, chemical, mechanical, whatever you have in there. In mine, I have two compartments of biological and one mechanical. And well, actually two, including the big sponges. Next step is going to be to rinse. So as you can see, I have the, the big sponges and I'll show you this guy, show you this once. I'm just taking it, squeezing it into the water a little bit. And that's pretty much it putting it into the filter to store it, and just do this with the rest. And once you do that, just put it back into that. I won't waste time. Just do it with the rest. Fairly simple. Then you take them. Uh, so what I'm doing first, I already rinsed one of the biological compartments. You just take, I'm rinsing the sponge right now. You, you don't want to rinse it too much. Just a, sque uh, a few squeezes in the water, in the filter water, and that should be good. Put it back, do it with the other one. And yeah, and to do the biological filtration, you just put it into the water and do what I'm doing. Up and down, up and down. You don't need to do anything crazy with it. Because all the beneficial bacteria is still in there. So after that, you just put it all back in. And <clears throat> it should be good to go. So, and then you're, you're going to want to have to clean everything, but not too much. It, even that part, the one that closes all the media. Because if that hole clogs, your whole filter clogs, and that's not good news. So upon doing that, you're going to want to start cleaning the pump. So pump is the most important part to do. Because that's literally what runs your whole thing. Now the part I'm cleaning is like the opening to the pump. It's best if you have a paper towel. I'm going to get a paper towel later to wipe everything down. So just give it a quick rinse, a little wipe. I'll lay out all the uh, parts down on the floor so you guys can see um, what's in it. Then you're going to need the propeller, I think is what it's called. It's magnetic. Uh, you're definitely going to want to rinse that so it doesn't clog or anything. And because you really need the pump to run smoothly. And this will just rejuvenate the pump and make it as good as new. So just give it a quick rinse, give it a quick wipe in the water, and then you're also going to need to rinse the stick. And it also inside what I'm reaching for right now is um, there's a little black rubber thing that holds the stick. So I'm just using that stick to take it out, the black rubber thing, draining the water. And that black rubber thing is also really important. You don't want it to clog in there. You can see me like holding it. Just, just dump it in the water a little bit and then just rinse it out and yeah and then just put it back together so 
So those are the parts we have so far. Then you want to take the 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 part that like the water comes in from. So you just want to pop that out and definitely rinse that part and take out the rubber part and then like just like how I'm doing it, just take it out and then rinse rinse it. Cause you want the rubber to be uh op like flap, like that that rubber flap to be like really not clogged, I guess. And you want it to be flowing and let the water flow through smoothly. Sometimes if your filter is really dirty, too much clogging is really bad. So now I'm going to get the paper towels and I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit and make sure everything's clean. And you're gonna, once you do this, you're gonna notice there's gonna be a lot of like build up. So it's really important to just take that off and make your filter run normally again. This might even be the most important step in this whole thing. So you also want to take the, the, I forgot what it's called, just a starting thing and then make sure it's smooth and then like wipe, wipe that down because you really don't want that to clog because that's what starts your whole filter. And yeah, so, so far we have all the parts laid out. So next thing you want to do is just pop it back in. You want to do it until you hear the sound, the pop sound. That's how you know everything is back in place. And if it's not, bad things can happen. Now to put that impeller back in, you just stick the magnetic, the, the magnet back into the tube and then push it down and then make sure it spins properly. Of course, it's not going to spin all the way. It's just make sure it's free. Once it stops, it stops. So now I'm just wiping down um, that part, the pump part, and then just snap it back into place and there are a lot of mosquitoes in my backyard so that's why i'm moving around like that so just make sure you hear that pop sound and everything's all good next thing you want to do is obviously to put the pump compartment back onto the actual filter now make sure you line it up properly or else it won't like go in so this is really easy to do you just push down until it clicks and then pull up now to remove the tubes from uh, what you had it in, which is probably that is what the filter comes in. It's just to pull it out because that's fairly simple. Fluval really did really well in designing its filters. So here you see I have all the pumps laid out. Uh, not the pumps, the pipes laid out. You probably don't need to take out the pipes, but I did because why not, I guess. That was really unnecessary of me, but... I mean, I already did it, so it's fine. So what's important is the, the input and the output. So right now you're seeing the output. You really want to give that a rinse because you really don't want the buildup in there because that's what slows your pump down and possibly ruins it. So if you have a better tool than what I'm using, than the paper towel to reach deeper in, feel free to use it because I'm not really doing a good job right now. But usually what I do is... I just rinse it with water, not tank water, just tap water. And you can see it opens like that and that's how I rinse it. So you'll see me doing that later in the video. And also you really want to do it with the input as well. And in the input, you'll see that there's a ball in the middle and that's really important. And so what I'm trying to show you right now is that I'm going to rinse it. So here I am at the, uh, rinsing station I guess and right now I'm just rinsing the output just rinsing that a little bit oh wait, actually no that's the input sorry and you'll see I'm, I'm going to be taking that apart so you'll have just like the bars and the ball the ball is really really important to clean because you might not know it but that's the main thing that leads to clogging in your filter so you really want to do that and then just rinse it while pushing up and down onto the ball uh, at the same time. That'll get all the debris out. Usually what's in mine is like a bunch of leaf litter and uh, decaying organic matter in there, which you don't want in there because that'll just cause buildup and clogging and your whole filter will be at risk. So you can see me doing that. I'm just using my finger going up and down against the ball. Trying to get all the debris out and yeah 
And well, once you do this, your filter will guarantee have better performance. A lot of people miss out on this step, even though it's really important. Now, I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is what the ball looks like. So you just want to go up and down against like that with your finger. So next up, you're going to want to do this with the output as well. So that's what I got right there. And just rinse it a bit like that. No big deal. And then you're done with that. So all's good. And next, you're going to want to attach everything back together, back to your tank. So now here I am back at the tank. I put the pump back into its original position, put the pipes down, push down the red till it clicks, snaps like that. Then push down the white all the way. And that white is to control the flow, just so you know. So now here I am, it's done. And the tank is a bit cloudy, the pump is back, but it'll clear up after a few hours. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.